Hello everyone, Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology here, and today we're going to uh, install Veronica's uh, adapted modded version of uh, the stock 1.4.2 uh, Barnes & Noble software. This is a purely stock version of the device. This is an NT8. This will work on either 8 or 16 versions. And uh, this this one has uh, has completely is completely stock. Uh, all I've done is just set it up to uh, turn it on and set it up to Wi-Fi, completed the setup, and registered it. Other than that, it's totally stock. There's nothing on it. Uh, but we're going to add Veronica's, uh, and you can find all the links for the stuff. Veronica's uh, mod onto here. So the first thing we do is just hold the power button. And power down, power off. Okay. Now, at that point, we're going to put in the Clockwork Mod bootable SD card. Okay. Power back on, and it should come up with a box that says we're in recovery mode. This will work. Uh, Clockwork Mod will, will, this SD card should work with any NT uh, 16 or 8 or whatever, if you've got a custom ROM or standard or whatever. Okay, now normally you don't remove an SD card ex if it's been written to, but this one hasn't been written to. It's all it's done is just copy its information over to the device. So we're going to remove that. And then we're going to put uh, Veronica's put in another chip that has Veronica's uh, file on it. Okay, so put that in there. Now, if you have if you have not done a backup, you might want to you probably do want to do a backup of your current uh, current uh, ROM and everything. It will. This is an Android backup, and it'll back up everything. If you don't know how to do it, there's instructions on another video. But basically, it's just go to the uh, backup and install. Make sure there's enough space on your SD card to get it, and you're fine. Then the next thing you want to do uh, is do a factory wipe and uh, wipe data and factory reset. Okay. Make sure you select that. It's just standard practice for almost anything uh, to do the factory wipe and clear both caches. The cache partition and go to advanced and clear the Dalvik cache. Okay, once that's done, we push the power button to go back and we install a zip from SD card. Is and then choose the zip from SD card, and here is the NT stock 1.4.2 ribbon root Barnes and Noble zip from Veronica. Okay, we're going to install that and give us one more option. Okay, we do it. So it's opening the package, it's installing it. By the way, any time that you do the factory wipe, the first boot after that will take an extremely long time, sometimes up to a couple of minutes according to the ROM that you're installing. And uh, so just be prepared. Don't get anxious uh, that it doesn't occur as quickly as you think it should. It takes an extremely long time. The first time after any factory wipe, uh, you can do a clear the cache. You can clear the Dalvik cache. You can fix permissions. All those things you can do at any time uh, with your device and it should not change anything as far as your settings or anything. It may fix some problems but it won't cause problems except that it may take a little bit longer still to boot the first time. But once you select the factory wipe, all your settings and all your backup, uh, not backup, but all your settings and setup are all removed and it's back to the factory system. Okay, So there we go, we've got it. Now we push the power button to go back and we remove the SD card and we push the Nook button to reboot the system. Okay. Now this will take a little while for it to boot up 
But when it does, it's going to look like stock, except that Veronica's version has a few adaptations and some modifications. Uh, but it will look just like a stock uh, at first. It will look exactly like the stock. So the first thing you're going to see is going to be the video to do the setup. Now you could, you know, if, you, if you're satisfied, you can switch off this video right now and go on and go do this if you want to. If you want to know how long it's going to take, I'll just leave it live and you can see how long it actually takes to boot up this first time. Other than that, you're welcome to go. Again, everything is all on the raywaldo.com website, uh, the instructions and the file links so you can download the necessary files. Everything is free and everything is uh, there. We support as much as we can and uh, that's what our website's all about. Looks like nothing's happened, but it just takes a while for this first boot. Again, don't get anxious. It just takes a while. And if you're satisfied to know that, then uh, you can go ahead and turn the video off. But uh, if you want to see how long it takes, I'm going to leave it on live until it actually does uh, go to the video, setup video, so that you can see how long it actually takes. Still waiting. And... Uh, you might get anxious here and say, oh, nothing's happening. I must have done something wrong. No, you did it right. Look at the flash. There's a little change. There's our video. That's how long it takes. All right, raywaldo.com. Check, check it out and get all the file links. This is what you want. I'll have another video later on. Uh, oh, I'm not sure what that said. It's, you'll have to read the video. Uh, but this is rooted now, and uh, so you can, you can actually do a lot of things with it. Uh, RayWaldo.com, the video is, uh, is complete, but uh, check out the step-by-step -step instructions and uh, file links at RayWaldo.com. All right, good day.